Well, I'm Anne McClelland, and I taught for Harlingen CISD for 32 years in many capacities. Uh, I'm a history teacher, as well as an administrator. <clears throat> and um, I decided that after I retired, that there needed to be a place to present the World War II memorabilia that I have treasured so much. I used to share it with my students when I taught, but I really believed that it needed to be taken to other places, other schools where they can see a real tangible part of a history that they'd never lived through. It was my father-in-law's and he did a pictorial journal while he was stationed in the Pacific during World War II. So it's a it's pictorial journal of actual history. He documented what he was doing, where they were, what was going on, and uh, I just felt like it needed to be shared because you can pick up a history book and read it, but this was a man's personal experience in the Pacific during World War II. There's two pictures in there that just really make a big impression on me. One of them is B-29s flying in to, to Japan to, to drop bombs, and he took it from the air. So you see the formation. And the other one is, uh, he has a photograph of the, uh, the, the envoy that met uh, on a battleship to discuss the pre-surrender before it actually occurred in Tokyo Bay. When I would take it in, even when I was principal at SAC, the boot camp, those kids would sit there and just treat it like it was almost holy, okay? They enjoyed it. It was, it was something real. It wasn't just a history book or a lecture or a, a film. It, they were looking at the real deal. And I never had a situation where in any classroom, whether it be honors or, or anything else, where those kids weren't just mesmerized by the book. What it is, it's about people that made it possible for us to maintain our freedom. I don't think most people realize what a critical situation we were in when we got into World War II. All of Europe had fallen, except for Great Britain. Japan had invaded China, was threatening to go in, to, to go further and we were sandwiched in the middle. And the part of the plan was to take those two continents and then converge on the United States. And I want people to know that World War II and the sacrifices that were made, not just World War II, were why we have what we have today. And we need to not take it for granted. And I challenge the youth that are sitting in our schools to remember what they've been given. They didn't earn it, they've been given. And I want them to treat that gift very preciously and maintain what those people fought and died for. To the veterans, I would like to say, I, I have a great deal of respect and I also know I'm very in your debt.